telling um, Neville that mm. I interviewed this guest when they were literally just starting out. Yeah. And it's like gone full circle. I'm uh-huh. meeting him now. He's, so a, yeah, he's a superstar. Star. It's a good thing he remembers me though. Yeah. Like, it's, a, it's a good thing. I, I, I know maybe Monday in the morning you were wondering why is he at Kumbuka Nini? I mean, I don't consider it a big deal because uh-huh. we're in the showbiz business. We yeah. meet a lot of people so I never catch feelings to that. Mm. But it's super dope. That means my energy was great so we're going to try to keep that same energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gas yourself up. No Also, I had a whole like intro prepared for this. Okay. I am uh, hanging out with two gentlemen wait, who wait. are supporting a team that's might lose tonight. Uh, <laughs> hey, the great Manchester United can never lose. It might lose tonight. <laughs> can we breathe? Yes. No. Yes. no. What's your prediction? True. What's your prediction? Do you think they're gonna? What, what, what is the score I, prediction? You know, first of all, being a, being a Manchester United fan, mm-hmm. regardless of even if we're playing a team that has Messi and Ronaldo on the same team, regardless, uh-huh. I'm still gonna come through and say my boys are gonna, you know, win the game. Nice. So, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm saying this. I'm the queen of trash talking. So I told Neville he needs to prepare himself tomorrow. Don't worry, because it's going down. Actually, it's gonna start today on your WhatsApp. But, but you know, on the <laughs> on the bright side, though, yeah. I, I like the fact that everybody's writing us off. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So when we win, yes, I'm not even gonna make any noise. I'm just gonna be like, we won. <sighs> Eat those words. And when we nah, usual thing, if we lose, <laughs> yeah, if we lose, it's like you guys have already been trolling us since yeah. like last week. Oh, so wow. it's, <laughs> It's, it's not going to be I know, anything right? new. It started last week. It's, it's, it's it not going to be anything new. <laughs> so you guys pray that we don't win. Just pray. Man when like we win. Shoe. Fair enough. <laughs> well, in studio, we have YC. I'm pretty sure you've just been hearing his voice. Mm. And we have YC in the building. How you doing? I'm great. It's been great. a hot minute. Yeah, it's been three years. Yes, a it's hot, hot, hot minute. Welcome back to Nairobi. Yeah, what, what I'm happy doing? to be back. It's okay. great to be back. Okay. Know? That's a really good thing. Yeah. So I'm just going to start things off. Four months in, how you feeling mm-hmm. like now that you have your own record label, doing yeah. your own thing? How's that vibe? I mean, it's, it's it's been amazing. You know, I've taken the transition from being just an artist to being now being an artist and an executive. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a lot of things that I'm learning. You know, I'm having more conversations with like, other labels and other executives invested in us. You know, I feel like a big man right now. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's it's been it's been a breath of fresh air. You know, creatively, I've been in the best creative space I've been in a long time, and you know, I just really can't wait to put out new music. I'm currently wrapping up work on my debut album. Nice, and you know, it's sounding amazing so far. Okay. Okay, I like that. Um, uh, just one question before we get into another segment of the show. Um, do you think Twitter should ever introduce an edit button? Because why see we see you on Twitter? Yeah, you, you 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 know how to I'm, maneuver I'm through there. the streets. I'm there. Like I think <laughs> I think an edit button is just gonna create a lot of problems because people are gonna say something, yeah. mm-hmm. and then if it gets a certain amount of attention that they didn't want, they could easily just go and edit, edit it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know so. I think that's that's one thing that Twitter shouldn't even consider. Ah, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are getting into our segment, which we really love. It's mm-hmm. called the warm up. It has okay. like very weird, quirky questions okay. where our uh, listeners get to find out the fun side of you. So the option is this: you pick two questions. If you feel like you don't want to answer either of the questions, you dip back into the cup and pick another two. Yeah. Okay. But they're very safe. They're not that crazy. They're they're okay. That's, we'll that's what you guys all say. <laughs> they're not that crazy. Okay. That's one like you hear the question you're like, oh. whoa, 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 what is this? <laughs> Have you passed? What's one thing you saw on the internet this week that made you laugh? One thing I saw on the internet. Mm-hmm. I saw this video. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It wasn't. It might not be a funny video. Okay. But I found it funny. Mm-hmm. So it's like these two, you know, teenagers. They're jumping this white old dude, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he pulls out a gun. Okay. And the way the two guys move just switched from like yo yo yo, and they literally just walked past like nothing was happening. Oh wow! <laughs> so they were shook. They were they like were shook. They were, they were like in a matter of seconds. Like yeah. they went from like pop pop pop. So like, yo, you right. good? Like, uh, n- nothing <laughs> happening. All <laughs> clear. <laughs> all clear. <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what does the question say, um, bro? What would you do mm-hmm. if you were in an elevator and Rihanna Ooh. walked in mm-hmm. and joined you mm-hmm. yeah. as the elevator went up? You know, these are the kind of things that you you can't even say. <laughs> you can. You, you can't say. You like, can. You're in an elevator. Yeah. I, if I'm alone in the elevator, I'm probably doing some goofy stuff. And then the elevator door opens and it's Rihanna right there. And I was like, 
<laughs> I'm a big smile. I didn't be smiling. You know, I think she probably wouldn't even want to come in because I would look so creepy. Yeah. Oh wow! You don't even <laughs> trust in your own drip, so we can't trust in your drip. Nah, man. It's, it's, it's Rihanna. It's Rihanna. It's, it's Rihanna. Rihanna. It's, it's true. It's true. Rihanna. <laughs> like, come on. We appreciate your music, sir. Uh, That's the first thing I want us to say before we continue with this interview. We appreciate the fact that you give the culture, especially the African culture, something where when out there when they talk about African music, you are in that conversation. So congrats, bro. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Uh-huh. Just, want, just want to shout out Slick real quick. Slick man. it. He's like, he's <laughs> he's mixing these songs into each other mm-hmm. like I have never heard before. Nice. Like, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. nice. That's go, our plug right go, there. Go. Um, but uh, let's just cho- chop it up music-wise right now. Yeah. Um, at the beginning of the year, or the beginning of 2019, um, let me say a uh, new home or new place that you're growing your sound from. Yeah. Um, and is what, what, what first of all, um, is there more freedom now that you're kind of doing your own thing? Um, was it a bit uh, tricky being in a, under a label and just trying to put out maybe what you really want to put out? Uh, is that maybe one of the reasons why you left um, being under a label and doing your thing on your own? Or what's the kind of vibe that you're on right now? You know, I think partly, partly that because... I mean, being on the label, mm-hmm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say in my case there wasn't that much freedom. But okay. There's as an artist and as a creative, you mm-hmm. know, there's times where you just want to be spontaneous with like releases. Yeah, true. But on the other hand, the label is all about you know flipping that profit. Mm-hmm. So most time they might not see the vision yeah. that the artist has. So in my case now, like I have a lot more freedom. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, I also have to understand that I might like a song, but. Yeah. I'm not making music for myself. True. I'm making music for the fans, for the listeners. So it's it's really tricky because I'm in a position where I could say, okay, I'll, I could do whatever, I could put out whatever music, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be logically sound for me mm-hmm. to just say, you know what, I'm just gonna disregard whatever the fans want or what the market is saying right yeah. now. But I mean, like I said, I'm at I'm at a point where I have a lot more creative freedom. You know, yeah. I'm, I've been experimenting a lot with new sounds and. I think African music is is taking center stage on a global level. True. So, you know, I want I want it to be not not just a case because back in Nigeria it's like the only way to get that global recognition is to do Afro beats. Mm-hmm. You know, but I'm trying to I'm trying to push a movement where people understand that look, Africans are not just only good for Afro beats. Like there's we have amazing R and B singers mm-hmm. as well. True. We have amazing rappers as well. We have amazing instrumentalists as well. So, it's just step by step you know i believe it will get to a point where people understand that not all the music that's coming from africa is afro beat like mm-hmm. there's different genres different countries and different you know different kinds of sounds yeah true that true yeah. that and uh, you've just said that and i remember i just uh, saw an interview of Boy and he was trying to explain uh, he was on sway in the morning and he was yeah. just trying to explain to to the americans that there, there are different parts of africa and we have yeah. different types of sounds yeah. and vibes so they should just take us as we are and not box us yeah because yeah. I, I literally had an argument with someone mm-hmm. a few like i think last month or a few months ago back in the states yeah. and you know they're talking about how all african music is afro beats yeah and in my head i'm like that's not even fair to like south africans that don't do afro beats that's not fair to you know kenyans that's not fair to south and to tanzanians you mm. know it's different sounds like it is so big and the person was trying to make a case of where it's new to the west so we just have to take it like that like how they understand it mm. and i'm like no like that's we should we should start correcting them now yeah true before it becomes a situation where it's everything just gets lost in translation mm-hmm. yeah. i totally i totally agree with that and uh talking about being lost in translation in translation um there's a you, you took a bit of a break yeah and um us as your fans we yeah. love you we're crying for you we're yeah. commenting yeah. under all your photos like yo no, where, was, where, where are you at where, it, during this time what are you doing it was, it was it was it was i was at a point in my career where mm. you know i was trying to get a lot of things set in place for like the next step i was going to take which was you know setting up my yeah. own label and mm-hmm. you know breaking off ties with my former label yeah. and i mean a, a lot of things were taking a toll on me you yeah know? so sure. i just i had to take time, time away off. from the uh-huh. scene 
and it got so tricky where i couldn't even post a picture on instagram <laughs> you know i would be looking <laughs> good like there. oh man i have this nice outfit <laughs> but then if i post a picture like 90 percent of the comments are like where's the music, where's where's the the music? music? <laughs> yeah, you know play us some music <laughs> he, he probably was feeling that rihanna effect yeah, you, know, rihanna. you know how rihanna exactly. right now anything she posts they're, they're like where's the music, where's yeah, the music? Like, every <laughs> single time like, i couldn't even i couldn't mm-hmm. post i couldn't tweet i couldn't yeah. do anything people were just like where's yc <laughs> yeah. where's the music where's the, where's the music Cute. where's the music and i was like okay you know what i'm back now so yes. yeah i think we should we, we should warm up a bit well i, well, I have a question for <laughs> okay <laughs> i mean we really lost a legendary like activist mm-hmm. man for the community yeah. huge person for the culture how did you feel when you found out about the nipsey passing man that that's 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 one thing that i don't i don't know if you know the black community is going to fully be over it because it's like when I when I think I was one of the first people to you know hear about it because I'm always on the internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I mean I saw a post I saw that Nipsey got shot and I was like oh you know hope nothing's wrong and yeah. in a few minutes it was you know he's passed and from that second you know his music just hits different differently yeah. like you know his message was it wasn't it wasn't just like your typical rap song where people are just talking about flossing and falling yeah. and all that he was actually passing the message and he was pushing for you know uplifting the black community yeah. black owned businesses and all that and it's such a shame that he had to be killed over something that was you know pretty much very relevant yeah yeah true and i mean it's like every single day you know there's there's always something about him in, in on the on the internet mm-hmm. you know people are sending condolence messages to lauren london like his songs anytime i listen to his song i'm like you know it's it's unreal that nipsey is actually gone yeah and i think it's it's one of those situations because for me you know i've I'd known about nipsey Hussle for a long time but i just like last year was just getting into his music mm-hmm. and you know getting to a point where you just start appreciating somebody's music and yeah. then all of a sudden it's like you he's know, gone he's gone it's 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 a big it's a big reality check and you know it's 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 something that i think a lot of artists not just american artists but you know even artists on the continent as well mm-hmm. we can all pick from his his activism and what he was trying to do for his community and translate that into you know trying to uplift the the, the african continent as well before we wrap up this <laughs> you gotta, that let him answer one question yes after one question warm-up. from the cup yc uh, come just on, one, come just on. One. i hope he picks the one if you could make one rule that everyone had to follow what rule would it be yes everybody gotta be dripping <laughs> everybody gotta listen to my music uh, oh my pop, god pop, 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 pop. that is <laughs> a let, let the stream numbers go up yes you know? all, you <laughs> all he wants to do is secure the bag that was a good <laughs> <laughs> yc yeah, i want to yeah. ask you this bro um we see you dripping on the gram 24 7 when's the clothing line coming out just <laughs> just just drop it now exclusive give us that exclusive give bro. us the tea give us the tea funny enough that was that was one of the major things that i was looking at you know when setting up my company because mm-hmm. being away for about six months away from music and people thinking that i was done because it just gave me a perspective that people just feel if why she's not making music why yeah. she's not doing anything else so it's very very important and not just for myself but also other creatives as well it's very very important to always put your cards on the table you yeah. know, let people know i'm not just a musician i'm mm-hmm. also into this and that so i mean fashion is something that i have been very passionate about yeah. in recent years and hopefully by, t- by the time i'm done with my album <laughs> it's over uh-huh. it's over, over for you guys <laughs> nice nice <laughs> and uh, just talk to us a bit about the album because um tell us about we know you not only do you thrive on your own when you're rapping on bars but also when you collaborate with the likes of malik berry and all these yeah. amazing yeah. artists from yeah. the continent uh who, who's gonna make the album are there gonna be any features on the album are there gonna be any kenyan artists tell us something about the album that True. we can look forward to as of as of right now yeah you know i wouldn't i won't say there are that many features because okay because of the fact that i rap and i sing most mm-hmm. times when i get in the studio i just forget that there's any other musician out there <laughs> Damn. Yeah. just kill everything so most times my management will just be like when i when i record the song and i put the chorus down the first verse before i do the second verse they're just okay just stop there yeah send it to this guy and let this guy you know be on it but yeah. you know i think i have i have i've received verses from um fino i've got david on the album as well nice uh 
yeah i think those are the only two that i've locked in mm-hmm. but hopefully while i'm out here i should be able to you know get some kenyan support as well oh, wait because okay. i'm super curious are you going to return the favor back to cali yeah oh, okay because <laughs> i was going to be OG. like what's yeah. up with <laughs> that you know because i want to ask you everybody talks about calligraph with yeah. this high level of reverence it's like <laughs> no but like cali is like you whisper his name. Nah. <laughs> Yo, he like, like, <laughs> it's just because you know on the ground the way he looks so <laughs> tough it looks as if if, if a fly just passes by <laughs> You Not understand? even that. Like you know, Kelly and I got mm. into it on Twitter recently. Did he block but I did. You? Nah, he didn't block okay. me. But it was just more or less like I was like, Kelly, I've been there when your like career was jumping. Yeah. But everybody was like, lay off Kelly, and I'm like, why? Why is everybody afraid of Kelly? Like, was that the energy he gave you? Like when you guys were working together? Mm. Nah, no. Funny enough, we met and we we kicked it. You know, we we like he he came when he was in Lagos. He came over to mm-hmm. my spot. You know, I put him on some Nigerian music. He put me on some Kenyan music nice. as well. So. You know, he's he's a cool dude, but then I saw this picture on the ground <laughs> where I think he was shirtless. Yeah. yeah. And I saw all his tattoos and I was like, wait, hold up. You know, this dude looks like a Yakuza. <laughs> you know? yeah. And his like he his captions are really menacing. Yeah. yeah. He's hardcore. When he gets in his bag, he just t- types some respect the OG. Yep. <laughs> it's time to national. I, I feel like you know how he says he spends time on the internet? Yeah. Calligraph spends a lot of time on the <laughs> internet <laughs> too. Like Yo, man, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to Cali, man. He's yeah. he's he's a dope. He's rapper. a dope rapper. He's a dope rapper. Apart from like Cali, who else have you been checking on the scene? Like who did who else did he put you on to? Uh no, I can't remember the names. Like he he played like a bunch of cypher videos uh-huh. where it's like I'm yo sure it's, mm. like we we trust me man back home me and my guys were like yo what is this like mm-hmm. where, where can I hook this into my veins and just yeah, yeah, yeah. digest it? Like it was amazing. And I, I think he put me on these two guys. I can't. I need to get on my phone and check. Okay. They're, I think they're like a group or something, and you know they're they're doing it. Yeah. TNT. Yeah. TNT. Oh. Interesting. You know they're dope. And I think when I landed, as soon as I put on the TV, the first video I saw was Octopus or Ah, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. You know. So nice. Yeah. I mean. Okay. Mad love. That's nice. So I like um, that. we really just want to know how you feel about Victoria coming for you. <laughs> that <when> you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a challenge going on. I'm sure the fans also want us to just slide that because on Twitter, as I can see, everybody is like, YC did great on that uh, challenge, yeah. but ask him about. Victoria. You know, yeah. so just, just just let us have it. What you have heard the record? Uh, have I? Of course. <laughs> He's like, have I? <laughs> of course. I'm sure yeah. it's dropped in somewhere. So a boy of yours has sent it to you or something. Yeah. You know, the funny thing, I woke up and like almost everybody sent it to me because I I sleep really late. Mm-hmm. So most times I wake up like midday. Yeah. So I wake up and I see my phone and there's a whole bunch of people sending me a Victor Money post and I'm like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And I watch the video. And you know, in my head, I'm like, okay, probably this is a joke. Yeah. And then she puts up another video, and I'm like, okay, it's actually this, quite serious. Yeah, this ain't a joke. You know, but I mean, it's it's. First of all, I didn't steal anybody's song. <laughs> I, are you, are you finna get some smoke? I, how you feel? Do you feel as if there's some? Is there something there? Actually, I, I really feel like all these artists are in a WhatsApp group. <laughs> yeah, they tell and they discuss this. Why is it I'm I wasn't in that one. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I just felt like you know. Mm-hmm. First of all, I felt a bit disrespected because yeah. okay. I feel like if she felt a certain way mm-hmm. you know about the song like this is a song that's been out for like two years Yeah, you could have hit me up you yeah. know like it's I don't think it's it's, it's something that I should have found out Online. with the rest of the world yeah. so I mean, I just I try my best to play cool because you know I don't I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, you, you don't want to be that. I guy. I don't want to have to be that guy. Yeah, you don't. Cause <laughs> you yeah. feel like if you were to be that guy, I yeah. hope I, I hope people yeah. are here. He said he doesn't want to be that, that guy, guy. <laughs> so he can't be that guy. So put some respect well, on YC's well, name. You know, at the end of the day, <laughs> we're, we're, I think the the main goal should be everybody yeah. trying to uplift each other each other's. and yes. uh, you know trying to do what. Nice. Yeah. And I you know that. what? You know what I love is that Nigerians ride for each other. How do you feel about all the other? things that she said about the other artists on the record i mean she she there's there's better ways to go about these mm-hmm. things yeah you know, there's, yeah there's better ways because first of all you're coming from a place where like ty is like the number one right now the mm-hmm. queen True. so and uh, one thing i've learned like earlier in my career if you're coming for somebody that you know is more successful than you before people even start to analyze mm-hmm. and look at it, it's it's just going to come off as hate yeah. yeah true so i mean if i felt like like if you have issues with like i'm a big fan of not bringing your issues to social media yeah mm-hmm. because to the fans it's all just entertainment it's entertainment nobody's yeah. sitting down to try and help you look for solutions to whatever your problem is so if she had issues like there's ways to sort these 
these things out have conversations that are actually productive but you know i wish her all the best i wish her all the best that was such a professional mm-hmm. like we wish her all the best like next i feel like he, he rehearsed this <laughs> he did, he he rehearsed did. this before <laughs> and uh, just before you go i see you put up a video on your instagram once of you crying of how dope you are <laughs> <laughs> can, can we just get into that because i saw that video and i'm looking at it and tears are coming out just tell me what you are really crying about what were you really crying about and then don't tell me manchester united <laughs> tell me something so you know the funny thing yeah, yeah. I had a very terrible cold that day. <laughs> so like I usually when I have a cold I take like menthol and I put it in a bucket of hot water mm-hmm. and then I just you know take a towel cover mm-hmm. and that's like that's what everybody does yeah and block the nose mm-hmm. yeah yeah so I took off the towel and I'm feeling the tears <laughs> just rolling down my face and it was a joke like, yeah. I just did it and I was just like Kill so no. <laughs> you, know, you gotta love showbiz because yeah. nobody knows this. Like you, you, this is showbiz, yeah. man. Right. And and I, I initially I just you know I put it on my Snapchat. My yeah. manager was like, "Yo, put put, put, put it, it on the, the ground." ground. Yeah. <laughs> and the like next thing is it's like boom, <laughs> it takes off. Every, every like because and I think I I I actually made it seem like it was serious because in the caption I wrote, yeah, like, you know. <laughs> It's been it's been eating at my soul. Yeah. You can't I've sleep. Been, I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and some it. people some people just saw they didn't even think to listen to the whole video. Mm-hmm. They just saw me crying and they're like, "Yo, what's up, bro? What's going on? Are you okay?" <laughs> sorry, like, sorry, you, I, 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 what, what happened? And I'm like, "Bro, watch the watch video." video. <laughs> no, but that just tells you like we live in a very clickbait yeah. world. Yeah. Like people want to read just yeah. the headline Once or they just read the headline. They're just like, it. "Oh, boom, boom." And even got- even in the comments there, there were people that were commenting and telling me oh bro take heart it's not the end of the world and, and i'm like, like <laughs> did <what>? you even <laughs> well uh, thank you so much for coming oh, through I had a great time. I had a predictions great time. bro before you oh, go, i have to get two zero. Two, two zero zero two zero guys we, we don't we don't want to we don't want to take it too hard on the, yes. on the barcelona team we don't miss it or cry you know messi gets really emotional yeah, when, he, when he loses <laughs> Suarez and like, you know, he'll be like oh, I, I retire from football yeah. of no i just have one question if you guys lose can i just get on your comments and troll both of you guys nah. I'll, be, like, that, that's I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be offline for the whole oh, come on. you can't even say i'll, with I'll, your I'll chest. be offline for the better half of tomorrow <laughs> same same that's and i'll that's just that. come out in the evening and just tweet like Oh, it's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>